2022 may very well be Apple's biggest year ever. This is the year we should get a totally redesigned iPhone, some refreshed redesigned Macs with Apple Silicon inside, new iPad, AirPods Pro, new Apple Watches, if my calculations are correct, there are about 15 or so major Apple products set to launch sometime this year in 2022. And in this video, I'm spilling the beans on all of them. So according to all the leaks and rumors, this is Apple's master plan for 2022. And get excited because there is something in here for everyone. And a big thanks to Jamf for sponsoring this video. Now, I've said this before, but I will say it again because I think it still rings true. 2022 is shaping up to be one of Apple's biggest years ever, at least one of the biggest years they've had in a long, long time. And if you thought 2021 was jam-packed, then prepare to be blown away. According to the rumor mill, that spaceship in Cupertino is seemingly bursting at the seams with new products. There is so much to get announced, so many products to be released, and some products that may not be released, but should get a special showcase or two sometime this year. Every Apple event starting in the spring should be pretty jam-packed. So in no particular order, let me sort of break down everything we should be seeing over the next 12 months or so. First and foremost, let's kick things off with an all new iPhone, but not that iPhone, come back to that in a second, but this iPhone. That's because this year, Apple is expected to release an all new iPhone SE 3. Now you'll notice on the outside that not a whole lot is expected to change. You're gonna have that same iPhone 8 style design, the same single camera on the back, touch ID home button, same screen size, not a whole lot is changing on the outside, but on the inside is where things matter this year, and there should be some pretty noticeable updates. You should be getting 5G support, hopefully a new Apple Silicon chip, maybe the A15 Bionic from the iPhone 13 series, and hopefully some hardware and software additions come to make that single camera on the back even better. Hopefully better smart HDR processing, better video recording functionality. The iPhone SE 2 only has one camera, but it's still a really great sort of main shooter for photos and videos, and hopefully it should get a little bit better on the iPhone SE 3 that hopefully will launch sooner than later in 2022. Next up, moving on to something a little bit more exciting, let's talk about this all new redesigned MacBook Air. Now, just like the MacBook Pro got a radical redesign and the iMac, now it's the MacBook Air's turn to get sort of the spotlight on it, and it should be receiving a pretty substantial redesign, at least one of the biggest uh, redesigns it's seen throughout its entire life, since it so gracefully slid out of that manila envelope with Steve Jobs in 2008. On the inside, this new MacBook Air should be powered by the all new M2 processor. This is the successor to the M1. Not a whole lot is known about it right now, but think better power, better efficiency, just an all around better, more capable, efficient chip that should be a great addition to this new MacBook Air. A lot of the bigger changes though are going to be on the outside with this new redesign that still sort of embraces the thinness and the lightness and the airiness that the MacBook Air has been known for, but also makes it a little bit more substantial. You've got that industrial design language, the boxier corners, the squared off edges. If it looks anything like these renders, it is going to look beautiful. The new Air should also come in a color selection similar to the iMac and iPad Air. Also a white accent color now on the keyboard and around the bezel of the display, something we haven't seen in quite some time. And yes, for better or worse, love it or hate it, the notch is there with hopefully a new and improved webcam on the new MacBook Air as well. Now, just like the MacBook Pro sort of has it all for a mobile powerhouse laptop, the iMac Pro should have it all as this beautiful all-in-one Mac that's got all the ports on the back you could want for the most part. It's got a huge 27-inch mini LED display that has both mini LED display tech and ProMotion, so sort of the best of both worlds. And inside, powering it all should be either and the M1 Pro and M1 Mac, so maybe it's one, the other, or a combination of the two. If you love the MacBook Pro but would rather have something a little bit more uh, stationary and a larger display, the iMac Pro should be the answer to your Apple prayers. And speaking of iMac Pro, many have wanted Apple to sort of remove the computer from the iMac and just offer a large 27 inch high quality display that has all the display characteristics that Apple is known for. So big, beautiful, lots of cool technology, but doesn't have the computer and a lot of the costs associated with that computer inside. Many want Apple just to make a standalone display. And it looks like that also might be coming in 2022. Now rumors on this have been a 
little mix. We had heard that Apple is developing their own standalone display, then maybe LG is going to produce it, but they're sort of working in conjunction with Apple in one form or another. What we know right now, at least according to Mark Gurman over at Bloomberg, is that Apple is working on a standalone display that might be coming this year and cost about $2,500. We're also expecting to see an all new redesigned Mac mini with Apple Silicon inside that looks fantastic according to leaks and renders. Can't wait to see this. And also one that's a little odd, a new refreshed 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now this currently has the older MacBook Pro design. It's got the touch bar. It looks a little dated, especially compared to those newer 14 and 16 inch models. And it's a little unclear what Apple is going to do. According to Mark Gurman over at Bloomberg, this device is going to stick around, but we don't know to what extent. Is Apple going to give it a new redesign to sort of keep it in line with the other models? Are they just going to put an M2 processor in it and call it a day? Are they going to give it a price cut and sort of make this the new de facto Facto laptop for education markets and enterprise markets. Not exactly sure what Apple's gonna do with this one. Kind of boggles the mind a little bit, but the 13 inch MacBook Pro should be sticking around in 2022 in least in one form or another. Next up, let's switch gears and talk about one of my favorite Apple products of all time, and that is AirPods Pro. Now, believe it or not, the original AirPods Pro launched via press release back in October of 2019 almost three years ago, and that seems like so long ago. I love my AirPods Pro, I use them every day, and AirPods Pro 2 are coming, and they should be better than ever before. In terms of design, we're hearing that Apple could adopt a similar design style to Beats Fit Pro, and essentially shrink the little stem that comes out of the AirPods almost all the way, if not entirely, and just give you a little bit of a bud that goes into your ear. The bigger story here, though, is what's inside. Hopefully some new hardware, software, Apple Silicon sort of working its magic, and we're also hearing a new report that uh, these new AirPods Pro 2 might support wireless lossless audio, something that no AirPods currently support as of right now in 2022, and AirPods Pro 2 may be the first to do it. And in order to do this, many speculate that Apple could be dropping the Bluetooth codecs they've been using to adopt a new, different, more flexible standard. Not exactly sure how this is going to work, but AirPods Pro 2 may be using a new form of technology to connect to your phone and your Mac and other devices uh, differently than we've seen before. So that could be really cool. Also, the other big story here is with the AirPods Pro 2 case. It should have a built-in speaker so you can more easily find your AirPods Pro if they go missing with the help of the Find My app and presumably to find my network as well. Now, before we continue breaking down Apple's 2022 master plan, let's take a quick break because I wanna show off a really awesome product made by this video sponsor, Jam. Now there's a good chance if you're watching this video that you are probably the de facto Apple tech support person for your friends, your family, and also probably at your office as well. And if you wanna spend more time on your work and less time trying to wrangle and manage all the different Apple devices in your business, then let me introduce you to the perfect solution and that is Jamf Now. Jamf Now is an incredible all-in-one solution for super easily setting up, managing, and protecting all of the Apple devices in your business. iPhones, iPads, Macs, even Apple TVs can all be remotely managed online with just a couple of simple clicks. Especially these days as people are in and out of the office, working in the field, or working from home, it can be tough to keep inventory of all the different Apple devices you have, let alone making sure they've all got the right data on them, permissions, security settings, apps. That's where sort of the magic of Jamf Now comes in and makes all this remote management so, so simple. Like the ability to deploy apps, email settings, secure company data all remotely, and even the power to lock or remotely wipe devices if needed, plus so, so much more. I am just scratching the surface. I am just a huge fan of Jamf now. I love it, it has been a game changer, and I know you guys will love it as well. So if you wanna check it out for yourself today, hit the link right down below in the description, or head to jamf.com slash applecircle to get started. And if you go through our special link down below, jamf.com slash applecircle, you can manage three devices, totally for free. So it's a really awesome deal. Take advantage of it right now by clicking the link down below or again, head to jamf.com slash Apple Circle and manage three devices totally for free. Of course, we cannot go any further in this video without talking about the shining jewel in Apple's crown, of course, one of the biggest stories of 2022, and that is the iPhone 14. Now, I've covered this phone in length many different times, so in this video, let me sort of just give you the clip notes and also sort of the highlights. This is gonna be one of the biggest redesigns we've seen come to the iPhone in many, many years. Looks really beautiful, and hopefully it looks more like these renders than not, because this looks like a phone you've just gotta have. The other big story here, of course, is with the removal of the notch, at least 
on some models. Hopefully the Face ID stuff really works its way under the display. And also a new and improved upgraded 48 megapixel main camera, a 16 Bionic processor inside. And yes, Apple is supposed to finally end the mini lineup of iPhone that was very short lived between the 12 and the 13. There will not be a 14 mini. Instead, Apple is going to give you a larger screen iPhone at a smaller price tag. So this is supposed to be the iPhone 14 Max. Think basically the same 6.7 inch display minus ProMotion, minus the triple cameras, minus the Pro End features at a more affordable price point. And alongside those new iPhones launching this fall will also be the all new and improved Apple Watch Series 8. Now, uh, I got a little excited for the rumors on the Series 7, so I'm going to temper my expectations a bit, but there have been some sort of rumors and some speculation that maybe that leaked sort of industrial redesign of the Apple Watch could be coming with the Series 8, at least I hope that's the case. But as of right now, we just don't know. And there are very sparse details on the Series 8, not exactly sure what Apple's gonna change. Maybe get some more health features built in, maybe it gets a new processor. Two critical pieces of info that we do know is that one, Apple should be launching a new Apple Watch SE 2, so hopefully better battery life, better processor in a nice low cost option. And also Apple may be launching a new Apple Watch tier with a new display size. There have been rumors of this Apple Rugged Edition, this ruggedized version of the Apple Watch that should be making its debut sometime in 2022. No word on if this is just like a special edition, if it's got a special housing, some kind of special band, special case. Not exactly sure what this is, but a new version of the Apple Watch might be launching with the Series 8 in the fall of 2022. The other big story of 2022 is supposed to be at least the announcement and maybe the launch of this, Apple's all new mixed reality AR VR headset. As of right now, rumor has it that maybe as early as WWDC, we could see Apple's next big thing. This is something they've been working on for years. It's got cameras, it's got advanced displays, it's got this really powerful M series processor equivalent that should be able to basically do it all. What it's going to do, we don't really know. There should be an app store, there should be apps, but everything is still sort of up in the air. It's all very secretive, hush hush, but hopefully Apple introduces us to their next big thing as early as WWDC in June. Hopefully that's the case, or at least uh, sometime near the end of the year. Rounding out the list of a few more Apple products we should see, new iPads are expected to come sometime in 2022 with a new iPad Pro, iPad Air, and also a base iPad. Now for the iPad Air and sort of the base iPad, not a whole lot is expected to change, at least right now, according to the rumors, probably just some spec bumps, maybe some better display stuff, but uh, things are still a little sparse as of right now. And for the iPad Pro, also sparse information, though we had heard that the iPad Pro could get some kind of redesign in 2022, to, and also a glass back that could allow for wireless charging. Things are very sort of confusing on the iPad front. Apple should be releasing multiple new iPad models this year, but as to what new features we could see or what new designs we could see, all that, again, is still very hush-hush, as is the case with many Apple products this year, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. And of course, last but not least, an all-new Apple Silicon Mac Pro is expected to make its debut sometime in 2022. Now, this is supposed to be kind of this powerhouse Apple Silicon machine. It should have this cutting-edge, latest and greatest Apple Silicon inside. Also, it might be in a new redesigned chassis that's smaller than the current Mac Pro, so that should be super cool to see. And also, there have been some rumblings that Apple could release two new Mac Pros at some point this year. One would be the new Apple Silicon Mac Pro, sort of paving the way ahead for the future, and one would be sort of a more uh, minor updated version of the Intel Mac Pro with new Intel chips. Not sure if Apple's gonna do one or the other, or if they would even bother updating the Intel Mac Pro, but I have heard some strong arguments as to why they would do that, so hopefully we see at least the new Silicon Mac Pro launch sometime uh, this year, and maybe a new Intel Mac Pro as well. All right, and I think that is it. 2022 is going to be a jam-packed year for Apple. We got new iPhones, we got new Macs, iPads, AirPods Pro. <sighs> Things are going to be crazy. And hopefully the first event of the year should kick off sometime in February, March, April. Hopefully there's another spring-loaded event this year and we start to get our hands on these new Apple products very quickly. As always, I wanna know your thoughts. What are you most looking forward to seeing from Apple this year in 2022? Is it that all new iPhone 14? Is it that redesigned MacBook Air? Is it the new M2 processor? Uh, maybe that new smaller Mac mini? What are you looking forward to seeing? What are you planning to buy, to skip? And uh, what are your thoughts? Are you excited for this year and uh, what Apple
Apple has in store? Let us know in the comments down below. We can discuss and sort of get excited together. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle, and I will see you all in the next one.